Yeah, it goes in there. And then I'll throw it in the water real quick. First time using it myself, so. That's a scoop. Okay, here it is, guys. In the water she goes. First time for everything. All right, folks. I could take a picture of this catfish and say I'm at a lake and say, look, and lie to you. Say, look what Billy got, but I'm not gonna do that. I bought this at a grocery store yesterday, but I forgot my knife. I'm out in the ocean and I forgot my knife. I wasn't gonna cut this up into three chunks and use it for shark bait. So since I forgot my knife, I'm gonna do something really weird. We're gonna try that. Isn't that strange? Who knows what can happen with that? Boy, it looks good. Oh, look at that, man. Doesn't that look nice? Look at this. Check this out. It's a head. What in the heck is this? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Now I see what it is. It's, it's a head and a skeleton of a fish. <laughs> look at this guy. Watch it bite me. Just kidding. Wow, look at the size of that mouth, man. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a stinky one. Nice sized fish. Oh, I got a bite. Something's on my hook. Darn it. I'm sitting here playing around and I had a fish on my hook. Son of a gun. It was hitting hard too. That's what I get for playing with a dead fish skeleton. There it goes again. Okay, I got it. Finally. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. All right. It's a nice sculpin. Now, these things actually have a poisonous venom in them. Um, let me... You know, I forgot my knife and I forgot my pliers. I forgot so much that I'm going to try to do this without getting stuck at the same time when I help this little guy out so he can live come on I'm trying to help you buddy open up gonna have to do it this rough way here if you would just listen to me little guy I'm only trying to help you yeah it's a little baby sculpin Okay, there we go. There he is. And off he goes. Look at this, this fish is still alive. Can you believe that? But I'm gonna take it off anyways. Wish I had some pizza. I'd have live anchovies on top of my pizza right now. Let's see. There you go, guys. Yeah, they're not doing too well. Some of them are almost dead. About a third of them swim off real fast. The problem is, is the press, the water pressure through here, when you're pedaling, you know, any more than three miles an hour, uh, causes shock to them. A couple of them, their mouths were blown wide open from the water, going in and, and going into their mouth. 
So this is good, but but uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to be um, cruising more than two miles an hour. Anything over that, it just shocks the uh, the anchovies. So hey, it was a trial basis. So put that back here. We'll take this baby on home. All right, time to beach this baby and get back in. easy hey folks uh, I'm actually thinking about selling my kayak and buying a simple inexpensive aluminum boat with a 25 oh, probably a 25 horsepower motor on it anyways this is the uh, launching ramp right here uh, right next to the Harbor Patrol Coast Guard headquarters at Newport Beach Bay uh, it's got a fantastic place to park. It's free. You can park anywhere in the street or half of the parking lot. But the problem is you've got about 200 yards of sand to transport your car kayak from the parking lot through the sand down to here. It's not the end of the world, but when you're a 61-year-old man with a heart condition that's pacemaker reliant, it's heavy, especially the 120 PDL. So today I tried for the first time a new dolly system. Let me show you how it works. Simple 5H steel rod. I had it cut at four feet wide. Um, bought these two tires here, these two wheels and tires, 13 inch tires at Harbor Freight on sale. Put axle caps on them, 5 8 inch axle caps. And what I do is what if I'm pulling this off my Sea-Doo trailer or putting it on here at the ocean or wherever I'm at, uh, I simply put it underneath like so okay as solid as can be and then I simply bungee cord it it's extremely stable more stable than any other dolly that you're gonna buy or make seriously I mean it, does, it can't get any more stable than this my opinion and There it is. It is strapped on with 13 inch tires, 5 8 inch steel axle. It's not going anywhere. It won't rock, it won't tip over. These tires I found out today, my first trial run, are actually wide enough for the sand, but the problem is they're still not big enough. It's still too much weight for me. And carrying this baby up to the parking lot is going to be quite a bit of work so i'm probably going to sell all of this problem is a sit on top kayak i can't even, i found out after i bought bought it that i cannot use it in any riverside county um, regional waters uh no sit on top kayaks allowed and that's some of the best fishing here in the inland empires those lakes like diamond valley and um so probably going to just buy an outboard engine on a put it on a mickey mouse aluminum rowboat uh, and so I don't know what I'm gonna sell this for I have a uh, $2,000 CD trailer that I bought for this works great of course you know what a topwater 120 PDL costs I take good care of it I don't drag it on the ground I'm not one of those guys that drag them over rocks I, I won't launch it unless it's number one a safe place for the kayak and number two an easy place for me so it's been ta well taken care of the only, the only time it's ever hit the ground is just from the water to the sand, and that's it. 